With Team Diamonds 2 on the horizon, we should be seeing previews for them tomorrow, which will be, and then they will come out on Thursday. What I decided to do today, AK packs, weekly wild cards. Now, I wasn't able to do my AK packs yesterday because Sugar Rush took over, so thought we'd move it today. Weekly wild cards are today, and to be honest, they're ass. Let's just be completely honest. <laughs> like, they're trash, really. Um, so what we're going to do, though, is I do like opening up the packs because they cost 67 k you do get two 90s back, which are 20K, 22K a piece. So you only lose about 20K. So we're going to do all 10 of those. We're going to do some AKA packs. And also, there's four LTDs in packs. You have the Furious George. You have the two Sugar Rush LTDs. And then you have Ramondre Stevenson from the Pats. So without further ado, let's get into it. Hey, ain't we been through it all? And we sleep on them floors. Everybody we thought we needed, we don't need them no more. Run it up, check the score. No All righty then. First things first, let's just get these weekly wildcard packs out of the way. Where are they? Um, 10. Like I said, 10 of these, I don't mind them because, like I said, you get two 90s back, which is a guaranteed, no matter what, 20K a piece. Um, and obviously, look, you can get some 91s, which are about 30K a piece. So out of this pack right here, we made 50K back of our 67K already really ea sports it's in the game so i'm not even sure why there is a binder limit it just doesn't make sense obviously it's a collecting card game but you have a limit of cards you can collect either way pack number two pack number one wasn't bad like i was saying 50k is what we made back out of the 67k if you get a 91 and a 90 and obviously if you get two 90s like i said 22k a piece you make 44k of the 67k back so if i'm guaranteeing myself back what 60 percent of my investment i'm okay with it is it ideal absolutely not but like i said a couple weeks ago i think it was two weeks ago i opened up these and got a 97 kyra elam um, which essentially paid for the pack itself so right now we're just going minimum minimum truth um, which is unfortunate because, you know, these packs aren't, they're really ass. Like, I'm, <laughs> it's just that, you know, the risk is not that great when, you know, opening these packs. So that's why, you know, if I'm opening up 10 packs, the most I'm going to lose is about 200K. I can make that back in a matter of, you know, an hour of flipping cards. So not that big of a risk when doing this. So, uh, we can get rid of some of these, these 71s and stuff because, I mean, unless Team Diamonds require low goals, which... Everyone would be screwed and get a gold packs would be absolutely crazy at that point in time. So, um, yeah, they're not the move right now. Um, <laughs> it just not happened. Then, like I said, we'll get into some AK packs and then maybe end it off with some TVPs because, wow, 10 packs and nothing over a 91. Um, I'm not expecting to hit a 97, 98, but damn, a 93, a 94. I don't think that's asking too much but the odds on these are terrible let me look at the odds because we got one more left i think it's like a six per 16 percent chance at a 93 so i guess they're better um but just not for me just not for me okay now the packs that have grown on me AK new class packs. Yeah, so these packs have absolutely grown on me without a doubt. Um, not saying they're the greatest, but 95 Saquon. I was so against these packs. Shout out to my boy Certsy. We had this conversation as well about AK packs just being ass. But I'll be honest, the last couple weeks, they've been, you know, okay for me. Um, you know, I pulled, I think it was two weeks ago, I pulled two 97s in a matter of three packs. So, obviously, we got a 95 and a 90 here already. So, and that... That elite slot can be a bit, a bit glitchy sometimes. So I guess we'll go down to like 3 million. We'll go down to like 3 million and see, you know, what we can make happen in terms of that. And then, you know, yeah, we might don't know what we'll kind of do from that point. But, <clears throat> you know, we shall see. I just wanted to give you guys, obviously, like I said, I know you guys love the AK pack openings. And then obviously, you know, like I said, four LTDs and packs. Nowadays, I'm not opening up TVPs like crazy. I still am opening them casually. Mostly, it's just for videos that I'm opening them, if I'm being completely honest. But still, like to give them a go. Still see if we can make it happen. So I think we got like 12 packs. 12 packs left. Um, then we'll get into some TVPs. Like I said, maybe just a quick meal. Um, ghost. Now, if you watch my video, last time I did this, when I said the Ghost of my highest pool, I ended up pulling a 97 AKA. 
Okay, 93, Matt Ryan. All right, we'll take that. Training is training. So at the end of the day, you know, if we can get close to what, 1-7 by opening up packs, we shall take it. 90 group. What I have not pulled out of these, I have not pulled a 98 AKA yet. 4-96, I pulled a 97, have yet to pull a 98 AKA, um, which, you know, if we can get a C, C pad, a flash this week, you know, maybe a group from last week, something that'll help us out. But um, we got, what, down to 3 million left. And then, you know, like I said, we'll go back into the TVPs, get a million training. Like I said, I still got about 8 million training in the binder. 96. So y'all just watch me open up 10 weekly wildcard packs and not get nothing over a 91. I go to an AK new class pack. I get a 97 Chris Olave. Make it make sense. 96 Chris Olave. We definitely shall take that. We had a shot of a... I don't know. <clears throat> I, just, I just don't know. And I don't know how to explain that. Back to back. 96. 98. Shaquille Leonard. <laughs> That's back to back packs. 96 and a 98 Shaq Maniac Leonard. Okay. Hey, hey, as I hit my desk. Y'all know I always hit my desk. Hey, can we go three in a row? Nah, nah, no three. Three in a row. 96, 98, 96. <laughs> We're going crazy. Wow. Absolutely W. That is a crazy. Four, there's no way we get four in a row, right? That There's no way we get four in a row. Okay, no. Nah. Unless this is like a 96. No, nah, 85. Wow, what a opening. 96, 98, 96. Whoo, boy, boy, boy. Now, you know, I expect us to not get anything the rest of the opening. I truly do. After doing something like that, like you can't expect anything else to happen. After going 96, 98, 96, these last, what, four packs I'm going to do, I expect minimum. I'm just letting you know. Like, as a pack opener, I know how it works. I definitely expect minimum the next four. If we get anything over a 90, I will be surprised. Color me surprised. 95. That was actually a W pack. Wow. 90, 95, 90. Okay. Um, I stand corrected. Um, last pack here, and then like, we'll put us above... A little bit below two million, and then um, or three million, and then we'll get into some TVPs to end it off. Wow, wow. Okay, okay. Now I should have just ended off the pack opening there, but I'm a degenerate, so I got 960k training, which is about 50 TVPs, nothing special. Um, but we're gonna roll it and see what we can get. Like I said, there is four LTDs in packs. So we got to see if we can make it happen. But we did get 98 Shaq Leonard, 96 Chris Olave, and 99 Gilly Lock. So, you know, between those three pools, that's about a million coins. So, yeah, we definitely made coins back on the AKA pack opening, which is a W. Um, it's very rare that you open up coin packs and make that significant amount of profit back, which I mean, that's just those three cows. If we take those three cards, excuse me, if we take into account the 95 CPAT, 95 Saquon, we put a couple 93s, 94s, we probably profited about three to 400k. So that's not bad. Ben Jones still remains unsigned. I don't know why the Broncos don't sign him. So I don't know. Have I shrunk? Like with my chair, y'all know sometimes with your chair, see, this is why. You know, I should have just should have just quit. But, you know, I want to give you out what you want. You know, a chair sometimes when they sink, sink, sink. I think that sometimes happens with my chair. But nevertheless, like I said, we're not going to calculate how much we have back. We're just going to roll, you know, whatever we get, whatever we get at the end of the day. I'm keeping mostly everything right now because of Team Diamonds. Um, you know, 90, I think they should be 98s, right? They should be 98. So anything 96 and below can be essentially utilized potentially in the team diamond so you know i'm like i'm just keeping everything right now everything that i pull um like i, said, I have quick so maybe some 97s because i don't think 97s will be utilized in team diamonds but for the most part my 96s 95s 94s 93s 92s which 92s are very very extinct so um another opening that could be potentially great which i may do tomorrow it's a pro star fantasy pack opening because of the the um, the assortment of cards you get from a pro star fantasy opening um, would be actually great going to the team diamonds, especially after we see 
what the sets are and what's required in the sets and who the cards are and things of that nature, right? So I may do that tomorrow. We may, I haven't done a Pro Star Fantasy Open in a long time, a very, very long time, um, which we haven't got back-to-back -back grades in a very long time. But, you know, EA, EA will correct it. You know, this pack opening has not gone the greatest, let's be completely honest. I think Young Waku is our highest um, with an 83, but we still got time. Like I said, we still got a bunch of time, um, a bunch of packs to try to make something happen. Redux, 92, Hino Smith. Shout out to my guy, Spades, captain of the Hino Smith um, fan club. Um, but let's continue on here. Um, we've got a bunch of rare strategy cards. I've noticed that, probably about four or five, so... Let's keep it going and see if we can make it happen. Um, at the end of the day, that's what we're trying to do here is make it happen with these. Now, I did get my training around 1.7 as always, you know, so um, those are kind of an L, a, a minuscule L because they quick sell for 26K and I need about 32K back. So, you know, it is what it is. Obviously, when I exchange them up, I gain an extra 3K. So that kind of helps that up. And I do exchange everything. Um, still exchanging everything, even though, you know, it's the end game. I still want to get the best value for my coin. So, <coughs> y'all see how great strategy cards do me? I thought I was going to die. <coughs> oh, wow. Um, don't know if you've seen that or not, but I almost just died from a great strategy card. So, you know, that's that. Um, and now it's just strategy card central. So EA is trying to send me to an early grade by giving me these great strategy cards. Cause obviously they have some type of effect on me. That's a strategy card on a mod legendary, but you know, Ooh, that was weird. Like I was literally about to say something about the great strategy cards, then coughing ensued. So that just lets you know. How I feel about the great strategy cards, Mr. Tyreek Hill, 87. So yeah, great strategy cards are bad for your health. If you do not believe it, you just seen it right there. I was fine and dandy until that third great strategy came up and it just, you know, hey, it happens, you know. I can't really uh, can't really do anything about that, you know. If the A's going to give me a great strategy card, they should be looking after my health, not, you know, trying to put a detriment to my health, but... It is what it is at the end of the day. So, uh, 420k. Um, it's not that many packs left. It's about 20 or so. Um, about 21, 22. So let's keep it going. Um, and see what we can get. We did get an 87. Um, we obviously did get a legendary strategy card. So let's see if we can get anything else. It's, it's crazy. Back in the when I say back in the day, early Madden days, that 950k training would get you like over 100 TBPs. But now it only gets you 50. And look, obviously, I think. Had to calm myself for a second and make sure the great strategy card didn't come over me. Um, but obviously, when the TVP leaves, I think it's like in 40 days or something of that nature, and it comes back, it's going to be even more expensive. So, you know, it, it doesn't cost us more. It just feels like it costs more because we're not getting as many packs. So, um, through 50, um, it's not even through 50 yet. It's, you know, I still got a little. I still got five great strategy cards. Uh, legendary. Bills. Don't know if that's going anything. Probably not. But, you know, we definitely will take that. 100% will take that without a shadow of a doubt. 300K left. This is the final countdown. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Now, always, I would like to get 1.7 back. That's what I would like to get back. I, typically, it pays out at 1.5. So, it would be 1.5 million. But if we can get close to 1.7 back, which... Let's just end that discussion. We're not getting back 1.7 when we're getting... We're going to pull between strategy cards and um, jerseys. About 10 of the 50 is going to be those. So that is 20% of my packs pulled are either going to be gray strategy cards or solar jerseys. LTD Marshawn. So we got a 98 Shaq. 98 Marshawn, 96 Stefan Gilmore, and a 96 Chris Olave. What did you expect? This is what I do as I was just talking crap on them. Wish it was Devontae because I think Devontae is a little bit more expensive, but 
it is what it is. It's funny though, like after the Game Changer LTDs and how powerful they are, these normal LTDs just don't have the same kick to it, right? Like Ryan Neal and all those boys is just like crazy. They're like, cr still y'all. Still, I'm still going to pull 20% gray strategy cards and solar jerseys. Like, I don't think even with Marshawn, we probably won't make 1.7 back, which is crazy. That's absolutely crazy that even with Marshawn Lattimore and LTD pool, we still won't make that back. So, we got about, what, six left, six packs left to try to make it happen. Let's see if they're going to give us a strategy card these last six, six packs. That's what I'm curious to see, if I'm going to get a strategy card in these last six packs. And not even a specific strategy. Y'all know I'm looking for, or I'm not looking for, but I'm talking about a gray strategy card. Or even a solar jersey. Let's see. Four more packs left. And <laughs> close. Might as well be a gray strategy card right at this point in time. Um, three more packs to go. 83 CJ Ham. Now, our quick sales were actually ass. I think Tyreek was our highest. And then after that, we didn't get above an 83. So, and of course, they give us an 85 Denzel Ward. Um, last pack magic here. What can we do? It's like our third time pulling him. Now, I just want to see. With Marshall and Latimer, what do we do? That's with Marshall and Latimer. 1-6 plus Geno, another 60K. We got about 1-7 back. I guess not too bad. I'm out, boys. Deuces.